Hello and welcome to Gamers, we're talking Animal World Gaming here today for our sixth episode of Prison Architect. As usual, I'll put down the links in the description down below. The links are social networking sites, it's my girlfriend, including our Facebook page, our Melissa profile, our website, and our voice and text chat Discord server. Please come and join at your earliest convenience. So, we're at day 17 in the prison. We've got 40 capacity of 40 prisoners, but we still have a lot to do. And I'm struggling with some money right now. We're 8% on increasing our prison uh, capacity. And I really want us to increase it further. We need to increase this prison greatly. So we'll get some more dormitories and get ready. So we've got a visitation area. I need to sort out all of our inmates. I need to sort out so this wing here is for certain inmates only, the same as here. I need 20,000 to get this expansion down below. So I can extend all of our accommodation and with that it means I can also increase the amount of image we can have meaning more revenue. When we start flowing in revenue the better. And we need to increase security greatly right now. There should always be a deployment there so I don't know why we don't have a deployment. Should be deployment there as well to be honest. So we're going to extend some of the dormitory rooms. Yeah, it should work just nicely. What well, got my mind planned? <coughs> so we got away 132 hours, and we get 11,000 upon completion of that. We need two dog handlers. So security and two armed guards. Now, if it were me. I guess here, watch, um, we'll just uh, extend it that, okay, come on, you there, we need six wide, Six wide, two there, two there, no to that, yes to that, yes to that, okay, yes, and yes, inmates having a bit of a riot right now, it sounds like, but we will not accept that. We are going to go straight down to placing the door here, here, and here, we do not have enough, I bet, for solitary doors, or maybe we do, you never know. Toilets, toiletters, one, two, three, get some bunk beds, we'll have to check to make sure no one's killing my law enforcement. You have stern punishments for those who break, well, law and order around here. It's one, two, three dormitories, which have to keep growing this prison one by one, one step at a time. Believe me, I will. You may have some confinement here, because if that's too wide, I've got an idea, which means... Yeah, I'm going to have some salt trees down there. I can't really do that right now, because I must finish this prison. Well, I mean this department. Get a few more inmates, just to help a bit on our money side. We're starting to have a bit of trouble now keeping the inmates under control, which is becoming a bit problematic for me. I'll turn my light on so you can all see my ugly face a little bit more. <clears throat> so, let's get this dormitory set up. What do you mean a toilet? Ah, there you go. So now we've got another room set up there. Goodness knows what you're doing. Security room possibly up here I was planning. Although I want to extend it, so one, two Don't even have enough for that yet. And uh Miguel's contacting me again. We should do a TF two video soon. And Miguel just said to me, Give me what you drink and your handsome shush. 
No, I'm not having someone ugly. But anyway, let's get back into the story. She'll have a go at me about that, which I kind of like. Okay, we have auto lights off, so I need to place my lights down. There she goes. She's going to have a go at me now. Let's see what she does to have a go at me. she say, don't you dare say I'm ugly again. Okay, uh, right. I need to concentrate. I'm off track. Six more capacity of prisoners. They do not have any plumbing. I should really build a new, like... The electrical power station's really clogged up there nearly, so I need another one down here somewhere. I need to finish off this security block because I want to get some armed guards ready. Which is be crazy, especially in this uh, hospi hospital. Good gosh, it's not a hospital yet. Well, I might do theme hospital. I plan to do let's plays of that very soon. I need those inmates, so it'll give me 6,000 income. Be enough to get two of my guards. I'm going to need the dogs. I guess I'll keep the dogs outside and make an outdoor kennel area. It'll be cheaper than making a building. I'm just trying to think, save money. I can get 15... I get 15,000 upon completing it, which would help so much. Here come some prisoners. Six of them, I believe. Yes, six maximum security. So I'm going for the most dangerous prisoners, but for the most dangerous, they give me the most money. Aggravated assault, torture, false imprisonment. Wow, she's in for 111 years for three attempts of three murders and attempt murder and manslaughter. She's in for rape, 13 years rape. She says not guilty in perjury. Well, we'll definitely lock her up. What's she got? And robbery, she's got left, so she's an e service sentence, murder and violent sword. So we got we get quite a lot of violent lot. Those who are basically those who are maximum security tend to be the most violent, naturally, and tend to be we'll unlock armory because we need that. And we need to unlock dogs actually as well. Um, but also on top of that, they tend to have the most convictions. And the most severe variety of convictions, if that You extend this block. Might have the super max over here, maybe separate from the max. <clears throat> uh, yeah, do that for now. Just super max only in there, okay? Just reshuffle them around. Now, apparently, we don't have enough electricity coverage, so let's go through the wall there. Thank you. Need to sort the plumbing out ASAP. We get three. Uh, Nearly 4,000 a day, which is good, but we only have 20 guards. What are my guards even doing? Take one out from there. So it's three, six, seven, eight, and the rest will probably be busy elsewhere. We need more guards ASAP, but I can't afford to be spending lots. Legal. I want to get death row ready really want to get an execution like it. I'd love it if I could actually choose to execute someone then my worst prisoners I could execute and then just bring in a new one <clears throat> okay someone just found some razor blade or so consumption fees cash flow nice so many prisoners are oh, actually wait 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 you killed two of my staff you are going super max scale all super max are going to be a redeal of these They've got serious harsh. If we go to the policy here, compared to when we started, here is a selection of everything. So if they cause destruction, someone found a knife or something in one of our goods. Someone breaks, so like a chair, they get locked up for eight hours. If they try and escape, they get 72 hours. And they also be put up. So if they're, say, uh, maximum security, they'd be taken up to... No, if it, there, then go to supermax. They attack a prisoner, they get locked down for 12 hours. If they attack a staff member, they get 36 hours. Serious injury, 48. Murder, 200 hours. And it adds up. So if they do multiple murders, so if they killed like three people, it'd be 600 hours plus any additional injuries or destruction or escape attempts they do. So basically, punishment would be very severe in a good way. And I'm rather pleased about that. So. 
Actually, let me check. Have we done one of our grants yet? I think we have. No, we haven't. 84 hours in a bit. Raise prisoner capacity to 50. So I need, in theory, to do some more. And I could reach it, but I don't want to mess that up. We'd get a bit of money for that. What was that? 11,000? So, what's that? 6,000 I get. It's not going to be enough to get that. Two armed. I could. I'll do the security protocol then first. Have I done this armor? Yes, I've done the uh, armory so I can start getting some armed guards. So, I need to think carefully. I want to be very careful on how I do this. And I'm dead serious because. This is a very serious part of the prison. For the armory there. Put a concrete wall up. I've got an idea, I've got an idea, ladies and gentlemen. It's a little expensive and unorthodox, but I have the idea. So, solitary, give me another solitary door. Gonna need two. Oh, yep, I can have two. So yeah, solitary left here. So the idea is, any staff or prisoners, they have to make it into the garbage section. And I'm gonna put doors here to make it even harder to get through. So they come down here. They gotta get through these doors. Then they gotta get through these other double doors. And then they get into this room, which will be a security room where there'll be guards all the time, security cameras to watch parts of the uh, cells. Another parts of the prison we can manage loads of stuff from here, and then there'll be another door to get in the armory. So you got to get through two sections of solitary doors and get through security before you can even get in the armory, which would make it hard for inmates to get out. And what I might do is, when I finish this series, which is the second season, the first season I didn't finish because of saving capabilities. When I finish this season, I will likely consider. Um, what I'll do is I'll likely consider trying to escape from my own prison as an inmate, which will be really interesting and fun to do. So we need to really f get the armory set up. Okay. We need a thousand now to build two more doors. Come on, area. Then we can get... <coughs> we can put... Capacity for two armed guards, get two armed guards, put them on the patrol, and two dogs, which we'll have down here. So a security block will be down here, which would be interesting. I have a door to head into this block here. I've got a rough idea. It's like I'm trying to adapt it as I go along. So I've got limited space. I hardly have any room for anything else to build, <coughs> apart from odd expansion here. I might build like a perimeter wall out here, because people could throw stuff over the fence into the yard there. So it's not. It's not uh, completely bulletproof yet. Four more prisoner capacities, and I could get a little more money, which will be 20,000, which would be enough to buy the extension down here, which I need. And then when I build, when I buy this extension, all of this uh, prison block will be extended downwards and possibly sideways. Maybe another canteen, shower area, common area, you name it. I have a separate visitation area. This will be for the maximum security at the moment. I'll make another one for max security, super max. Where instead of visitation tables, where you can sit down with their relatives, there'll actually be glass between them and their relatives or visitors, which makes them even more locked down. <coughs> and their, their accommodation will be more stricter. Because here, if we have a look, I'll give them flooring at some point and perhaps a bit more decor. But the point is, they got... A reasonable size room. They've got a bunk bed share between them and a toilet. And at the moment, none of the toilets work. You see? They're literally uh, shiting themselves everywhere. But I can't do anything about that because funding is limited. So those ladies, I'm sorry ladies, but if you're that desperate, go toilet. I don't know. Run back to the holding cell and use one or two toilets there. But I'll probably make a toilet out here in the yard. Which I might actually do now when I think about it. Another toilet outside. I can. <coughs> Got an idea. Be one, two, three. Got an idea. 
that's going to be a toilet, outside toilet. I've got that as an idea. Put a wall in between. <clears throat> I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Yep, I've got an idea. I have an idea for plumbing. A problem with our plumbing can be sorted hopefully quick, I hope. Well done for committing destruction and attacking the staff member. You get 44 hours in confinement. And we don't have any more confinement rooms, but I have an idea. We're going to have some of these solitary cells down here on the side. So it's still a quarrel to get down, but people can be locked up in this area here, which will be perfect. So we're making use of our room. We have to wait 55 more hours. Jesus, right. Let me think. Uh, weapon rack. Get me two weapon racks, which cost a thousand! Why? So much! And I need two weapon racks at least, because I need two armed guards on the patrol. Wow. And I can't get any more grants. When I get two dog handlers and two armed guards on patrol, I'm going to get like 15,000. When I get six more capacity, I'm going to get like another 15,000, I think. So, I'm going to get a lot of money very soon. It's just a bit of a waiting game. So, this fifth episode is a bit of a wait. But, we will do very well. I think we will do very well. Financially wise, we'll do well to expand. We'll, once those three grants are nearly done, we'll extend this for 20k. Take a bit out of money, but we'll still have maybe 30k or so. Be enough to extend the prison block. And... It will mean more money revenue for us. But then we'll have to increase our guards. Because for 46 prisoners. We have 20 guards. And you'd argue 20 would be enough to deal 46. But we have to man this whole prison. And we go to deployment. We've got two guards in the dormitory. For when they get brought in. We have two in the canteen. One in the kitchen. To keep an eye on goods. Any weapons that might come in. Drugs. Make sure no one doesn't escape attempt through the kitchen. We have two in, one in the shower at the moment. Because they use the shower. None in. We have two in the visitation for various reasons. In case people, in case the fight starts out, in case people try and escape, in case stuff is smuggled in, not weapons, drugs. We don't have any in the yard at the moment, which is very bad. But we will quickly deal with that because I want to make sure I deal with that. Someone is playing. See your school. Anyway, let's put two toilets down. <clears throat> now, where is our plumbing? up there this is going to be expensive I can tell already but put that there there we go I should actually connected that to there just save a bit it's fine just give them a toilet and give them a sink I don't know if I think it's just the staff in the kitchen at some point, I partly hope they would add the ability where they would be like, oh, okay, well, we want to be able to clean ourselves. So, I think... I think we'll have cold water. I'm not too bothered about... Yeah, we'll just give them cold water so they can wash their hands after if they're that desperate. And give them... We already got one. A water cooler. Nah, it'll be fine. They're supposed to sleep now at 11 o'clock at night. Which means I can continue with this section here. <clears throat> we get a second weapon. Second weapon rack. We need uh, two guard lockers and a table. So, table... I hear something there. We'll check that in a moment. Guard locker 200. We can afford them. Yes, we can get our two guards which are going to cost about 500 each. Prisoners aren't happy but I don't care right now. Now, what we got? Staff. Three thousand I need. Jeez, for my two guards. They're expensive and I know their maintenance is expensive as well. Maintenance, I should be able to maintain, but still. The armed guards, I would initially plan to have them on, like, a perimeter. But if I'm entirely honest, I think that um, having them either guard the yard 
or the dorm main dormitory section accommodation area or both would be very important because that's where most of the time they'll be aside from the canteen maybe in the canteen have a bit of armed guards as well you know because why not so we need more m money 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 lots of money in a rich man's world why not a rich woman's world I think the future with uh, how the world's sexist at times I think there'll be a time where it will be that women will be sexist to men it'll be like punishment for men always being sexist that women will rule the world one day but if I'm with my girl I don't care because she can be my boss she can be my boss because I know how to do special stuff with her okay we've got our two guards armed guards so let's get an armed patrol now Just for temp reasons, we'll have armed guards ready, okay? So now we need two dog handlers and we get a nice bit of money. So, we'll wait for a tiny bit more money and we'll get our dog, we'll get our dogs ready before, what we'll do is we'll, just underneath the security room, which is still being made, we'll build our kennel area for our lovely dogs. And then we will wrap up this episode. Obviously not before. So let's get another security door. Solitary door. I guess we can do that just to make sure our dogs are protected. Now we need a kennel. Dog kennels. We need two. So we'll just, I guess, make sure that there's enough... I don't know which way it's supposed to be which, but I don't care. There you go, two dog kennels. And we'll put some grass in one, two trees, make it a bit pretty. Now, how much is it for a dog? Well, not a dog. Um, a security dog with its trainer. Keen on Deputy 500, so I need a thousand, and we can get a better grass. So, here we go, it's one. Okay, what I want to do. Hold on. We have a dog patrol here. An actual dog patrol. Uh, did I screw up? I don't know. What? Have I got two dog patrols? I think so. <clears throat> well, it's fine. We can actually hold on. Okay, so we've got one dog patrol in there. We'll have another dog patrol inside. So we've got one dog patrol, weirdly enough, inside the commendation area and one in uh, the yard. So we just need one more dog and we can get a lot more money. We can get 15000 The next hour, we're about to get some more money, I think. We can now afford our work of a canine deputy. Oy. So we have now completed and it's just gone past nine, 10 o'clock in the morning. We now have a sufficient amount of money. We'll wrap up the fifth episode here and we'll be back for the sixth episode very soon, as soon as I can give you it. And of course, please genuinely leave a comment if you enjoyed this video. I keep saying in all our videos, leave a comment, but our members are too afraid to leave a comment. Even if it's like good video or why not try this or that, or I like this, but perhaps not that, improve on that. If people left more comments, it would be great to start getting you lot to interact on our videos. But anyway, we'll see you again next time, and of course, take care. I love you all.